Hi, my name is Elena Joy. My pronouns are she, her, and I tried conversion therapy. I know a lot of us think that it doesn't even exist anymore, but actually conversion therapy is any therapy whose goal is to result in heteronormative attraction and suppress any same-sex attraction. So it can be everything from really physically invasive, like all the movies, right, and commercials, or it can go up to something as safe as talk therapy. And so when I was 37 years old, I was a stay-at-home mom of four beautiful kids. I had been married for 17 years and I thought everything was good and perfect. And yet for some reason, I was really dissatisfied with my life. And I was really ashamed of that because I was really hashtag blessed, right? And then I realized the reason I didn't enjoy my life was because I was not attracted to my husband or actually any man, and I was really in love with my best friend. Now, this was not okay with me. This is not something that I wanted to have be a reality in my life. I really liked the way my life was, but also I was really living for heaven. In the faith framework that I was in, if I were to go with those same-sex attractions, I would not end up in heaven, which means I would not be with my children for all of eternity. And that was not okay with me. And so I did whatever it took to get rid of this issue in my life. And if that meant seeing this guy who called himself a therapist, and I went four days a week for two hours a day for six months. What I didn't realize at the time was that 57% of people who participate in this therapy become suicidal. And that is where I ended up. At the end of those six months, I was barely functioning and I was dealing with all of these crazy thoughts in my head that I wasn't getting better because I'm not a good person and God doesn't want me in heaven anyway and 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 right like you can see where that goes down to a really deep pit and I couldn't figure out how to get myself out and a day came when my husband was like we've got to file for divorce because you're not even trying anymore and that was the first time I used my voice in six months. I realized I am trying so hard. In fact, it's all I can do to just stay alive every single day. And that's when we realized, oh, we've got a serious mental illness here and we've got to figure this out. And as I went to a real psychiatrist and realized, oh, this is really unhealthy for me. And if I keep going down this path, there's a good chance I'm not going to stay alive. When I thought about my children having the memory of going to my funeral, all of a sudden what I perceived as failure of being a lesbian and being divorced, yeah, that didn't look like failure anymore when I thought about my kids having that memory. And so that day I decided it was better for my kids to have a gay mom than a dead mom. And I claimed my life back. So I chose to stop going to conversion therapy. I chose to figure out what my relationship with God was really like. I chose to file for divorce and I moved out on my own for the first time since I was 20 years old. I became a full adult, but really I became a full woman. And that was beautiful because it opened me up to really incredible experiences like meeting my partner, moving in together and raising my kids together. We even have a decent relationship with my ex-husband. It's a really beautiful life and I'm really happy that I chose to stay.